Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're trying to make a nice clean line when painting on a canvas, but it turns out you lack the natural dexterity or perhaps skills to make it happen with just a paintbrush? Well, the good news is you're not alone. And today on Mixed Media Masters, we're gonna explore some different techniques for how to create the cleanest lines possible when painting on canvas. <music> Now, if you've done any kind of painting on canvas, you fully understand that a painting can take a long time to set up. There's layers to put in, you wanna get things just right. And the last thing you wanna do is deal with dripping or smeared paint or something that you've already created getting ruined by something you're creating. In those cases, having a clean barrier or border to rely upon can make a huge difference. Now, different masking tapes can also immediately improve our painting skills and allow us to create incredibly clean lines on our painted projects. That said, it's not always a slam dunk and even when using masking tape, there's always the risk of the paint bleeding under our intended barrier. However, I wanna share with you a solution to help you get consistent results every time. Now on this channel, I've talked a great deal about different types of masking tapes in a previous video. Most masking tape brands are designed with two considerations in mind. One, how well they stand up under different heat conditions, and two, how adhesive they are. Now, when working on canvas, adhesion isn't our biggest concern. More is better, and the stickiness of the tape won't end up destroying our canvas like it might if we were working on paper. Speaking of which, if you want to learn more about how to have success in masking when you are painting on paper, please check out this video for more. When painting on canvas, our consideration is that the masking does just that. It masks our lines and keeps them clean. There are a number of masking tape products on the market, but very few of them are focused predominantly on the needs of artists. One of the closest solutions is Frog Tape brand masking tape. Now, Frog Tape is coated with what is known as an SAP, a super absorbent polymer, which is similar to the ingredients found in disposable diapers in which that they can absorb a tremendous amount of moisture. In this way, when the frog tape comes in contact with the water in your paint, it can swell up to create more of a seal to prevent that paint from getting underneath the tape. However, my experience has been that unlike painting wallboard, which is the original purpose of frog tape, sometimes the textured surface of a canvas creates all these nooks and crannies, and that paint can easily get under, and the result is, well, that masking tape intended to keep our clean lines didn't do as good a job as we might have wanted. So what do we do about masking tape that doesn't actually mask our projects? So there's a simple step that you can do to guarantee success in every canvas painting program. And it's this. This is liquid medium. It's basically a pigment-free acrylic paint. This particular type that I'm using is relatively thin because it doesn't need to be thick for our purposes. I'm also working with a matte finish because I don't want to introduce any shine to the piece I'm going to be working on. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this frog tape that I have, my standard green go-to frog tape, and let me just make a, a shape that I can work with. You're actually gonna make a few different shapes on this small canvas panel. Now this is a pre-gessoed canvas, makes it a lot easier. I'm gonna come in here and just make a couple fun shapes that we can work on painting. There we go, this will be one of them. There we go, beautiful, just a beautiful shape, don't you think? Uh-huh. That's the best shape ever. There it is, there's one, okay? And I'm gonna make another one down here in the uh, other corner. Similar process, let me just come in here and no right answer, I'm just gonna block this out. And uh, maybe I'll just make a, a quick triangle right here. Now I'm gonna run my finger over these lines because of course we want this to be as tight as possible so that no paint leaks through. By the way, I'll put the link for this product and anything we're using in this project in the description below. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and uh, I'm just gonna feed it into my paintbrush, basically. It's gonna make it very easy for me to just control it. I don't wanna necessarily, I could pour it in a little dish, but I find often I end up with more than I need and it ends up getting wasted. So as you can see, it's really just a little bit of, of some white there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in here and I wanna paint the borders. I just want to paint the borders here between my tape. Let's get some more out here. There we go. 
That should be plenty. And, uh, and the canvas. And what I'm basically trying to do is I'm trying to create, in essence, a paint line already. Now, I want you to understand this. When I paint this clear paint, if you will, with no pigment, into here, what's going to end up happening is it's perhaps going to leak under the tape. And that's okay because it's transparent. And as it leaks under the tape, what it does is it fills in all of those nooks and crannies, all those cracks where the actual pigmented paint might get in. And so I'm basically pre-painting this piece, or at least the borders of this piece, to make sure that when I put down my actual color, it can't leak in there. Okay, can't get out of here. So we'll give that a try. I'm going to give this a moment to dry, and then we'll come back and we'll drop some paint on it. Two weeks later. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and uh, we've been able to get that layer dry, no problem. So again, the purpose of the medium is to be able to seal in any of the cracks around the paint. I'm going to come back, I'm going to hit it with some basic black, something that will give us good contrast against that white to let us see if there's anything going wrong. And I'm going to paint both of my shapes in here. Now, of course, the one that I have put my medium in, I'll do that first here. And again, we're just going to paint it normally. And I'm even going to be a little bit of extra aggressive in paint toward the lines, which I almost never do because you just want to prevent any kind of bleed from happening, but I'm gonna paint right towards the lines. Look at me, feeling brave. And let's do the same thing up here with the other shape that we created. And again, we, we squished both of these down pretty hard uh, when I put it on there. So hopefully it's created a pretty good seal, but let's see if that actually works for us. All right, and we'll get our black color in there. There we go. And that's looking pretty good. Now again, I'm gonna give this a, a, a moment to dry and then let's come back in. We could take it off wet, by the way. One of the questions that does come up is, can you remove the masking tape while it's wet? And the answer is yes. However, it introduces the possibility that either you're going to get a finger into the wet paint or the tape's going to pull some of the wet paint off and it may end up getting transferred to another part of the painting. So depending on what I'm doing, sometimes I'll give it a few minutes to just let the paint settle, get a little bit tacky, dry down a little bit so it's not going to be so liquid, and then I'll take the tape off. But usually, waiting till things dry out, not a big problem. So let's give it a few minutes and we'll come back and let's see what's happening with the big reveal. Three days later. Okay, we've had a chance for the paint to dry. Now let's unveil the shape that we have created. Let's, uh, let's start with the one that we didn't put anything in first and see how that turned out. So I'm gonna pull in here. Ooh, unfortunately, even though we sealed it down pretty tightly, you can see we've got some major spillage here. It's, uh, the paint found its way under the tape and uh, gosh, that was the opposite, the absolute opposite of what I was trying to make happen here. It's, it's just fuzzed up. And at this point, I'd probably have to go with a paintbrush and try to put clean lines around it naturally, which may have its challenges as well. So disappointed that didn't work. Let's look at the one we used the medium on first, though, and see if we get better results. And I want you to notice as I pull the tape off, same scenario. But this time, because we pre-painted it with the basically transparent paint, it sealed up those gaps, and it gave us incredibly, incredibly clean lines. And that was the objective after all, right? So again, you don't have to come in here and be some virtuoso with a paintbrush. If you're kind of sloppy as I am, you're going to run into weird things. And if you're trying to mask areas off to try to prevent that from happening, give yourself a chance by putting in your clean lines. And again, just a, it takes an extra step, but it makes all the difference in the world, as you can tell. Straight masking tape when used on canvas doesn't necessarily straightly do the job. But if we put some medium in there first, we can clean things up so dramatically. I mean, it's incredible to look at. I hope this tip was helpful for you. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, please hit that like button. It really helps us out and gets exposed to a lot more artists who need this information. Also, if you like what you've heard and you want to be part of our future conversations, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and we'll let you know anytime there's a brand new video and it gets dropped in. Anyway, thank you so much for visiting Mixed Media Masters today. And if you're interested in learning more about some of the different tools and tricks that we use, here's a, here's a video covering one of our more recent tips that you might want to know about. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for dropping by. I'm Spider Graham, and I'll see you real soon.